Hey guys, so we did another video on a dipstick tube replacement and uh, we realized that there's a couple of different types of dipstick tubes. Okay, so we're going to go over this other style. Okay, so first thing you want to do if you're going to replace your dipstick tube is remove your dipstick, of course. And then there's a 15 millimeter bolt right here holding the dipstick tube in place. Okay, you're going to remove that. And we, we had it hand tight just you know for the video. And then it helps if you remove this spark plug wire cable. Um, just make sure you wiggle it back and forth. This one's already loose, but you know, up and down, but side to side and everything and eventually it pops loose, okay? Uh, bear in mind, you're removing it from behind the number four cylinder. Okay, so that's where you're gonna install, reinstall it. And make sure you move this one out of the way a little bit as you're removing it. Keep in mind there's an O-ring. If you are going to replace or if you're not going to replace a dipstick tube, you're just removing it for, you know, whatever other reason, make sure you replace that O-ring. Last thing you want is an oil leak down here where the dipstick goes into. You don't, you don't want to have an oil leak just coming down, you know. So, do yourself a favor. It's only a couple of cents to replace that. Okay, and when you're going to reinstall it, it's the same process. Just you know, reverse. All right, so you're going to go back in through behind the number four cylinder. And just make sure that that O-ring does slide up in there and you'll feel it when it bottoms out. Right there. Okay, and then just replace the bolt. Once you do that and you tighten that up, 